613. Good morning and welcome back. Yesterday, right here on GMSA, we introduced you to a woman devoted to preserving San Antonio's history. In today's edition of Tejano Moments, GMSA producer Rosalind Jimenez explains how that woman earned the nickname Angel of the Alamo. In her mind, it wasn't just exclusively where a battle had been fought, but more about all of the missions that had been built by the Franciscans and the Spanish. After realizing the missions in San Antonio were falling apart, Adina de Zavala knew she had to preserve history for the generations to come. But she couldn't do it alone. Adina uh, then meets this wonderful, beautiful young woman by the name of, name of Clara Driscoll from Corpus. Uh, she's a philanthropist, uh, an heiress uh, to a very large uh, ranching empire. Rudy Rodriguez, a local historian and founder of TexasTejano.com, says Clara and Adina became good friends, frequently meeting at places like the Minger Hotel downtown. Clara ended up giving Adina $75,000 to purchase the convento, the Alamo's long barracks. But the state assumed the purchase and refunded Clara. Then there were some disagreements about the property. Clara believed the convento was an eyesore and a park should be put there in memory of the fallen defenders. Adina, on the other hand, felt that it was a historical building. The Alamo Mission Chapter won a lawsuit to remove the building. So, in February of 1908... She enters the building and padlocks. Uh, she has the locks changed. And so the world begins to discover, and I mean literally, because uh, the media, because the media frenzy uh, becomes national. Only a few days passed before Sheriff John Tobin told Adina she needed to get out of the convento. As she exited the building, Adina said, I did not surrender. I merely left matters in dispute to arbitration. And her fight continued. Eventually, her battle won. Sadly, Adina did not live to see the victory, dying in 1955. But for her efforts, she will always be known as the Angel of the Alamo. Rosalyn Jimenez, KSA 12 News. All right, so years after Adina locked herself in the long barracks, claims that the convento walls were not part of the historic church were dismissed. Then in October of 1913, the second floor walls were mysteriously torn, doll, torn down. The remaining walls of the church stood in partial restoration for 55 years. We'll remind you if you missed the first part of this week's segment, you can find it right now over at ksat.com.